So this classic image problem, um, the force and energy. The question is how much energy is in this configuration? And, um, or actually the question is first, how much force is this particle feeling? How much force of attraction? And uh, the force of attraction, um, well, the, the way to argue this one is that the electric field at the charge is exactly the same as if, you know, so we had the, the two competing models. One is the thing up here with the surface, right? And the other one is you have a charge here and then you have a negative charge below nothing, right? We found that these are the same for the upper half because they satisfy the boundary conditions. And so the electric fields are the same. So the force is gonna be the same as if there were two charges attracting to each other. So that'd just be Q squared over negative Q squared correct? Yeah, negative q squared over uh, the distance, which is 2d squared in the k hat direction, okay? So they're attracted to, this This point charge is attracted to the plane with the same force and intensity as if, as if there was a negative charge uh, opposite the plane, okay? So for all hints and purposes, to the charge itself, when you're above the plane, it looks like you're looking at a mirror image of the charge. That's, everything looks like that. Uh, because there's no difference between that and uh, the boundary conditions of having a conductor there that's, that's grounded. Um, energy. Is energy the same? And the answer is no, it's not quite the same. So we have to calculate the work to assemble this, which is going to be... Um, I'm getting ahead of myself, aren't I? Um, so without the conductor, the work would be the two charges... Uh, times the distance, 2d. And since one of them is negative, it's going to be a negative charge. So uh, the negative sign should go over here so you don't get confused. I'm not subtracting. Uh, same thing for this. It's negative force. It's opposite the key direction. So um, you would think it would be this because it looks exactly the same, but the answer is rather quite simple. This solution that we have um, only satisfies the region above. The region below obviously has no... Um, electric field. It has the same potential as the conductor, even though below it's not necessarily a conductor. Um, the potential below is zero. So really, we only have half of this. So we take this and we cut it by half. So the real work to assemble the charges is um, really equal to one, over one half, well negative one half, of one over four pi epsilon naught q squared over two d. Um, why? Why one half? Um, I just argued that the electric field, only half of the electric field is present. It would have with the two charge configuration. Um, if you prefer, we can calculate it using forces. So it's the integral of the force dot dl to move it from infinity to the position, right? And of course, the force is opposite what the force the particle is feeling because uh, um, that's the force that you apply to the charge. So we get the integral of d to infinity of uh, negative 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught times, uh, well, q, the force is uh, negative q squared, so negative and negative, and that makes a positive. Positive q squared over the distance squared, 2d squared, right? And we're going to move in the dz direction. We're going to start at infinity and come down directly to where it's positioned in the end. And, you know, solving for that shouldn't be any surprise that you're going to get um, the result. 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught q squared over uh, 4 d, I believe. One, yeah. Or if you prefer, one half of the potential, you know. So, um, why is the work half? Well, the answer is we're only moving one charge. The charge that accumulates on the plate at every point that that moves, there's no electric field to oppose it. There's no work done on that charge. Um, so really, you know, it's like when you walk into a room and look into a mirror, are you having to spend double the energy because the image on the other side of the mirror has to move as well? And the answer is, of course not. It just doesn't make any sense. So the, so the work to move it on the conductor is zero. And, you know, finally, I wanted to end with this little gag joke thing. So what does... Uh, a charged particle C in a conductor. And so like, let's say you had a, let's say you had, a, let's use red for 
a nice red color. So this is this is a, the charge looking into the mirror. So he's a plus charge. And so he looks into the mirror. And what does he see? He sees a charge. His reflection is always negative. So when he's happy, the reflection is sad. And when he's sad, the reflection is happy. <laughs> anyway, um, so hope you understood what's going on here. That, that really is an image. That's not a real... That's not a real charge that he sees, it's just an image. So, All right, one more section, we'll done with this. This is a lot of fun.